Oh my god, my face right now is eating. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full get ready with me as you guys can see by the title, hair, makeup, outfit, perfume, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in this look, make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel, liking this video and keep watching. Okay, so elephant in the room. I've cut my hair for those of you guys who did not know. I have a pixie cut now. Um, and I know you guys are probably going to be very disappointed because you're like, oh my god, I want short hair tutorials. I want to get ready with you with the short hair. Yeah, I don't know how to do my hair. I do not know. I've been getting my hair done and I've been trying. It's just not giving. I'm still practicing though. So when I feel like I get it right, I'll do it on camera. But until then, I will continue to go to the salon. So today I'm going to be putting on a wig. I actually have not worn a wig in a month now. So hopefully I still got it. I've literally just been wearing my natural hair. It looks like this because I'm going to talk and do this so that we're not here all day. Because I have had a chill week. I have been in bed <clears throat> for like a little over a week. Or when I say in bed, I mean at home. I've just been chilling, haven't gone out, haven't done anything to my hair, haven't done my makeup, haven't nothing. Um, I've gone out to eat with my mom or gone to my mom's house, hung out with my mom. But that's as far, that's as far as my social media is getting me. I just have not been going out. And the crazy thing is, you guys, nothing is wrong. Normally when I get like isolated like this or something, something is wrong. But I'm so at peace. I've been binge watching shows. You guys know I never really watch TV like that. So I've been like binge watching, keeping up with what y'all is talking about on Twitter. <laughs> um, as far as shows is concerned, I'm not out the loop, so love that for me. But tonight I'm taking my mom out to dinner. So we've been going out, but I've been literally throwing on a hat or like half slicking my hair. I just cannot get it right, you guys. Like I want to give you guys a tea on my hair, but this is it. This, this is all it is. I literally get my hair done, okay? that's They could take my money with that because baby i can't do it but um i can put on a wig so i'm gonna um just kind of brush this back i'm actually gonna wash it tomorrow so maybe i got some new products and i've been watching videos on how to style short hair so maybe it will come out decent tomorrow because i have some new stuff so i'm just gonna put this on i don't do anything under the wig child i'm washing my hair tomorrow so yeah, let me turn this hot comb so I have this wig from Clayali Hair, and I'm kind of excited because I haven't worn a wig in a while. Um, but anyways, so they sent over this wig. It is a kinky straight, 20 inches, and it's a oop, and it's 150% density. So it's gonna be very natural. That's kind of what I was going for today. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just install this, and I'm gonna try to do like a blowout kind of look. That's what I'm going for. So um, yeah, I did wash this pluck it bleach the knots and i like blow dried it off camera so that because okay let me tell you guys i love kinky straight because of the texture but sometimes with kinky straight like i'm gonna show you guys the roots of close it can have those little crimps which gives it texture but like if you're gonna stop this is the thing if you have natural hair your hair is still going to be blown out or pressed out or straight. It's going to have texture, but it's not going to have crimps. So I try to like get that out and still have that fluffiness. Like you see the fluffiness. I love this. This is like one of my top favorite textures is kinky straight. It just looks so good and it's very slept on, but the girls are waking up. Okay. So you guys will see a lot of kinky straight soon because I just really like it. But anyways, enough of me rambling. I've been rambling for like five minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. You guys have seen me install my wig a million and one times. So I'm going to install this and do some big curls. I'm probably not going to use this. I need to get a different. My curling iron is so dirty. Thank you. 
It looks like nothing now, but just wait. So I'm going to actually put it in like a claw clip thing. And when I take it down, it's still going to hold its curl. Ooh, oh, no, no, no. I like don't know what to do with my baby hair. Sometimes my baby hairs look good and sometimes they don't. I don't know. I just don't have the motor skills for it. That's really why I can't do my short hair. It's very precise. Imagine like doing baby hairs throughout your whole head. I don't have the range. And you guys are gonna see the finished results, so don't even worry. Don't even worry. This is the best way to like sleep with your hair too, or like in a bun. It's the best. So I'm gonna let that do its thing. I turned my hot tools off, and now I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera, and then we're gonna get into this face because it needs a lot of TLC. Because baby, look at how I'm breaking out. Okay, so the brows are on, they are a little strong. Um, I'm doing a full beat today. My skin has been going through it, which is so weird because, well, I know my cycle's coming next week, so that's most likely why. But I haven't even been wearing makeup. I can count the times I've worn makeup in the past month. Not just this month, in like a 30 day span. Like, I can count how many times I've worn makeup. So I'm just kind of like, what is going on with that? It's kind of weird. But we move, you feel me? So um, my brows are very strong right now, but that's what I want because I'm going to try to get a picture today. I'm going to try to have my mother take a picture of me. I haven't taken one in a while, so I might as well do my thing. So the theme for my makeup today or what I'm envisioning is pretty in pink. I'm feeling a little pinky because I want to do this. Um, I want to do this um, like chill but girly fit. I'm going to be wearing my camo pants. I feel like y'all need camo pants, especially summer, winter, fall. I feel like everybody needs a pair of camo cargos. They're a staple, okay, and the right one. So um, I'm pretty sure my outfit's going to come out fine, like it's camo pants. But, you know, we shall see. So I'm just using that leftover concealer on my hand for my brows and putting it all over my lids. Okay, and what next? So I pulled a few palettes in front of me and I'm just gonna work with that as I have 100 palettes, right? Um, but I'm gonna go with my Jaclyn Hill first because I know I wanna use these transition shades. So I want it to be like a warm kind of eye instead of cool tone, we'll see. But I'm gonna go with these two transition shades. If you guys are not new to my channel, you guys know these are my favorite, G Money and Home Body amazing they need to just make this one color and I just want a big pot of this it's literally my favorite so I'm just gonna messily put that all over my crease I like to bring my eyeshadow into the um bridge of my nose as well because it creates that illusion of like a super snatch nose and we're going for a full glam today so yeah and you really want to put that in your crease because you're using such a fluffy brush it's literally going to spread everywhere, so you just want to keep it like in the crease so that when it's blending, it'll move up without like taking over the eye, you know? 
All right, so that's that. Ooh, 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 ooh. When I tell you, when I move out of this place, they're gonna charge me for this carpet. Like this carpet is done. With it. So, anyways, now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna take a cool tone brown. You don't have to switch palettes. Just take what I'm telling you as a guide, okay? But I'm just showing you what I'm using. I could have really just used this palette, but I didn't. So here we are. So I'm gonna go on with this shade. It's like a cool tone that's just gonna deepen the crease. And I'm making this eyeshadow look as simple as possible because we ain't trying to be here all day, okay? And I'm more of a skin girl. Like I really don't feel like your eyes should take forever. I would much rather spend like a longer, I would say hours, but I spend no hours on my makeup. I would rather spend a longer time on my face makeup. Yes, I'm gonna use my NYX Glitter Primer and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Not that I need it, because I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Shadow on my eyelid and it is very pigmented. Well, why not? I also feel like this helps with the longevity of the shadow. Um, your eyeshadow is not like evaporating by the end of the night. Because I, I think a lot of people forget like your eyeshadow has to last. Like your eyes move all day. So when you're going like this, sometimes they get creasy or your eyelids get, you know, oily. So you just want something that will help the eyeshadow stick. So that's why I do it. So I'm going to go on with this Pat McGrath. I think this is a Rose Divine palette or something. Oh no, this pink one. And I'm going to be using this pink champagne. And I'm going to press that all over my lid. Again, the actual palettes do not matter. If you have them, that's great. But you can literally use anything. I promise you. So this is going to be more of like a wearable, like pink look. Because you guys know I'm not using any pinks in the crease. If I was to use pinks in the crease, this would be like va va boom. But I'm trying to make it more like, oh, who's texting? Let me mute that. <laughs> I'm trying to make this more like wearable glam which is more realistic for me especially because i don't typically wear eyeshadow but i'm telling you guys eyeshadow photographs very well i wish i had a pink that was like shimmery like i like that like iridescent kind of glittery look i'm gonna see if there's one in this pat mcgrath palette that i can just put on top yeah i'm gonna take this shade it's kind of glittery in this shade and just like tap it on top gently just so it has that twinkle i like a twinkle if i'm gonna do eyeshadow i'm gonna zoom eyeshadow baby and you probably can't see it but in person it does add a little twinkle now it's time to get into this face because baby when i tell you do you guys see my skin like this is new as of monday and i popped the rest of it yesterday i shouldn't have but it was so big it was already dark so i just went ahead and popped it and it got all over my mirror so gross i have something going on right here there's like three pimples on my forehead so this one for sure you can see and there's like a bunch of little ones and then this right here oh baby this one hurts it's coming up and then i got it's just a mess it's the best. Time to prep my skin. I'm gonna be going in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Dew Drops. I love this stuff before putting on my makeup. Love, love, love. Ooh, it just helps my makeup um, glide on and makes my skin super glowy. Even if I use a lot of powders or like a mattifying foundation, it still gives it that like skin-like look, like a demi matte, not a matte matte. I'm going to be using a few new products, probably not too many, because I'm actually going out and I hate trying new products when I go out because then the picture doesn't eat. I hate my face and it's just a mess. But if you guys do want to see um, a video on me trying new products, make sure you subscribe to my new channel because I will be recording that very, very soon. Next, I'm going to be going in with the YSL Blurring Primer. Amazing. I don't know why I put this down. I feel like every time I pick it up, I say the same thing. It is so good. Every time I, why is it not coming out? Every time I wear this, you guys, my skin looks filtered. It is not a joke. It is not a drill. My makeup looks flawless. And I'll be trying to figure out like, what is it? It's the primer. So because my skin is very blemished right now, and I'm looking in my mirrors, if you guys see me looking off, I have two in front of me. But um, 
every time I use this, my makeup chef's kiss and it looks so good. Like I don't even gotta edit my pictures, baby. It just looks good. I personally prefer to just look good um, in real life or look good in photos instead of having to like over edit and stuff. Because editing be stressing me out and baby, I'm not a photographer, okay? So, uh, uh, uh. so I'm going in with a new foundation combo. Well, I probably showed it to you guys before, but I'm bringing it back. We're full, full coverage today, guys. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury in 14 and I'm using NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Marquise's. And I, 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 I can't talk. I actually mix these because this one I feel like it's a little bit too red and then this one's too yellow, so I just mix it. But like, the combo is amazing. Color aside, the combo is amazing because I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is too thick and too matte. And again, I feel like this one's nice, but it's just too red. Um, I do like this formula by itself. It's a little like too thin too. I don't know, I can't explain it, but the two of them together are amazing. Mix the two together and just stipple that all over. I just like to place my foundation and I spray it with the setting spray. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the vitamin C one. And that helps with the longevity of my foundation. It helps me blend it out as well. And let me get my sponge and I'm just gonna blend. I'm not dragging. I'm literally just like stippling that to keep full coverage. So I'm gonna go with my Dior concealer first in 5W, which is, not the dogs outside. Y'all know the dog park is like right outside my window, so. Anyways, so this is like closer to my skin tone. It's a little brightening, but y'all know I like a thicker and brighter concealer. Y'all, I love candy, but I've definitely matured because I used to be able to eat like a bag of candy in a day, now I just need like a piece or two, hit the sweet tooth, and I'm done. I still love it. But I can't overindulge. That's how I know I'm getting old. Anyways, so now I'm going in with my Kevin Aquan in SX12. Um, I go back and forth between SX12 and 11. Um, I feel like 12. I don't know who that dog is barking at. <laughs> but anyways, I go back between 12 and 11 depending on the look that I want. This one's a lot warmer and richer in my opinion. So I typically grab for this one. Sometimes I'll pop a little 11 in there too. This is SX12 and this is X SX11. So this one's a lot like lighter and gives me that oomph oomph. And I'm telling you guys with this concealer, you only need a little bit like even that what I just put on was honestly too much. Honestly, honestly, honestly too much. I think I want a cream contour. I'm glad I caught that before I kept going. I'm just gonna go with my Fenty and Espresso. I have a lot of new cream bronzers, but um, this is just safe, so we're gonna use this, but you guys will see new ones in the weeks to come, I promise. So because it's a very thick concealer, you need a very thick powder to set this. And I pretty much use this on a regular day, but this one is heavy duty, okay? This is the one size powder and I use the shade Translucent. Um, dark, I think, will be like all over my face, not for my under eyes. But I do love that this is truly a translucent powder, so it doesn't like change the color of my under eye or anything. Like, can't explain it. It is truly a translucent powder. Do you see that? Yes, darling. And I set anywhere that I put concealer. And you guys can see, the skin is looking flawless. And I'm gonna set my brows because that's just what I do. Do you guys see how the light is reflecting on there? If I go out like this, is it gonna be the worst thing? No. But it's definitely going to be oily by the time I'm ready to take a picture or by the end of the night. So I just like to set that so that it can minimize 
on that shine. And it gives that brow, it gives the brow, that brow, it gives the brow like this like professional look. So I ain't mad at it. So I'm gonna go in with my good old trusty Fenty Coconati Bronzer. I feel like I've come across a lot of bronzers. I like a lot of bronzers, but none of them are her. None of them are Coconati. Like, do you see that? It looks like it wouldn't be a bronzer, right? But like, look at what it does to my face. It's like neutral but it adds depth, it is amazing. And I have a pimple right here, do you guys see that? This one hurts so bad, like, so bad. And I think because I use espresso underneath, putting this on top just like seals the deal. So I'm using a new face powder today, which I'm a little nervous about, but really excited. So this is a Kosas, I hope I'm saying that right, um, powder, and I was very intrigued by this, it's like, a cloud set powder and let me I haven't opened it since I bought it let me see oh no it's not I thought it was squishy <laughs> I'm seeing things but it's kind of like that powder that I like that like mineralized skin finish the Sephora micro smooth so I got the shade silky is that the shade yeah silky which is tan deep um so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. And you know, these powders are more on the sheer side, but I love these kind of powders. Um, Fenty is actually one of the only full coverage powder foundations that I really, really like. Everything else, eh. But this is like my go-to kind of powder. So, so far, so good. I'm not mad at it. And I also got the concealers too, which I can't wait to try. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous and they look more on the natural side. That's why I did not try them today, but I will be trying them soon. So I like to take that powder and like dust away everything as well and like blend everything together. Um, so I'm gonna do a little reverse contouring and do the sides of my nose. I feel like I always skip this part in, um, oh, powder got my eyes. In the videos and I just come back with like powder on my face you guys are probably like what the heck but yes I'm doing a little reverse contouring underneath there and I don't do it for long just a little bit right and I like to do that after I've set my all-over face so that it doesn't really stick to the face because we don't like that so excited I finally got this blush it has been sold out on Sephora for so long and I kept telling y'all about it and I finally got it it was a birthday gift from my cousin <laughs> Um, and I just got it in the mail, so, oh my gosh. This is the infamous Dior Backstage Blush in pink. This is like the ultimate pink. Oh my gosh. It is so pink. Like in a good way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what it's hitting for today. Okay, why I got all this on my brushes? I'm really excited to see what it's giving. It's giving bubblegum pink. Wow, this makes me excited. So I like to do the apples of my cheek. I know a lot of people are like, don't do that anymore, but I like to, and I like to just bring it up. Um, so yeah. It just gives you that like baby doll pink, like that matte bubblegum, cool tone, not cool tone, blue tone, pink. I like my nose with my Fenty. I always just grab anyone and this actually fits the theme. This is the Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. This is more of the pinky highlight, which doesn't really come off pink as you guys can see, but I guess the makeup gods knew the vibes today. I'm gonna do a wing liner, my lashes. Um, if I don't do this on camera, that's what I'm doing. Okay, wing. This is giving Onika Mirage. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna put lashes on and then decide if I wanna do bottom liner. I'm kinda liking the no bottom liner. Just like mascara, I think that will give. So I'm gonna dust this away. And a good trick if you feel like your powder stuck for whatever reason, just go back in with your face powder, your all over face powder, and just like go over that to tone it down. Which I did not have that problem today, so hello. And then again, for that extra glam look, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number two, and I'm gonna go under my eyes with that. And that's gonna brighten that up even more. I don't know if you guys see that difference. Oh my God, my face right now is eating. It's giving Barbie doll. Wait, do you, do you guys see? Do you guys see that? Who's having breakouts? Me, but can you tell? Maybe, but do I look good? Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my Morphe setting mist. Um, just to kind of like, I like this flawless matte look, but I wanna break it down just a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm gonna lightly mist my face before actually setting it and put on my lashes and I'll be back. Oh my God, my face right now? is eating. Okay, so I think I am just gonna leave it like this and do like heavy bottom mascara. And if you hear that thinking in the back, now it's quiet, that's my dryer. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face now with my Urban Decay. Woo. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. And this is the vitamin C one, this one, I just love it. Do you see how, even my neck is moisturized, like this is amazing, love it. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that dry. Don't let the little dots, you know, scare you. Let it dry. So for my lips, I'm gonna keep it very simple. Um, I'm just gonna use Max Chestnut Liner. So I'm gonna use Max Chestnut Liner, as you can see, and then I'm gonna use Max Boy Bay Lip Glass. Yeah, Boy Bay is amazing. I just put layers and layers of this because it just looks so yummy. Sometimes I like a really like layered lip. Sometimes I just like a really juicy, glossy type of lip. So I'm gonna pinch my lashes together one more time. Make sure they're on and lifted. And I'm gonna do mascara. I don't know the sun be moving in and out, so don't clap me. But I think my lighting's pretty good today. What do you guys think? I think it's looking nice. Um, but believe the hype with the Patrick Star. I don't know if I should like associate him with, I should associate him with his brand, but his brand is called One Size. It's not called Patrick Star. The One Size Mascara lives up to the hype, okay? It is a bomb. So I'm gonna do that, clean up a little bit, let my hair down, put my clothes on, and then it's gonna be like time to go. So I'm on great time. Um, I don't know, something about when I go with my mom, I'll be on time. Maybe because I don't be playing with my mama. Okay, so I'm dressed now, and you guys see the hair is giving natural. I do really like her. It feels like my hair. This, to me, gives more of like relaxed, like a yakky instead of kinky. Yakky, for those who may be confused, what's the difference between like yakky and kinky? Um, yakky is more like relaxed hair. Kinky is more like natural hair, even though this is listed as kinky. I think because of the density, it's giving more yakky. But anyways, this is the hair, and I'm going to show you guys my perfume and accessories and my outfit, and then I'm going to head out. So, um, yeah, the hair looks really cute or whatever. It's weird. I haven't seen myself with a wig on in a long time, like I said. So, oh, I'm sorry the lighting is going in and out. But, yeah, I just wanted it really relaxed. Not too much. I don't even want a sharp part. I just want to leave it like that. Oh, this lighting is getting disrespectful. But I'm not going to get up. Anyways, so I'm doing mixed metals today only because my bag has gold in it and my shoes have silver. So I've been forced to do that. So I have all my Dior um, earrings. Is it lip gloss on my face? Okay, we got that. All right, so I have all my Dior earrings. They're like little hoops. I have on this um, cross chain. It doesn't look crazy, does it? No? Okay. And then I have on my JBW. This is a crystal... Something, but it's two tones, so I really like it because it's both. We like that. So that's it for accessories, keeping it very simple. Um, and then today I'm going to be wearing Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. I love this. This is like the perfect 
like warm florally but not doing too much type of scent like i love this so i'm just gonna overspray myself so now it's time to show you guys my outfit i don't know why i'm so out of breath but okay ignore the mess in the beauty room we know the beauty room is never clean okay but to the outfit so i'm wearing this um white bodysuit from express i was gonna do black but i'm just feeling the white a little bit more it just seems more alive <laughs> um these camo pants from local european you guys know i love these these shoes from i believe it's gianni benny so freaking cute right i love them so much this is a moment <laughs> and then my chanel from kyra um that's why i did the mixed metals because this has gold in it and the shoes have rhinestones you can't really tell but it's still cute so super like chill girly moment this is the outfit up close definitely my vibe y'all know me so i'm about to head out so you guys that completes today's get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed it do not forget to check out clay Ali hair i'll leave all the information down in the description box below as well as everything else mentioned in this video from makeup to perfume to outfit all that good stuff so thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye